what is compensation optimization? It involves reviewing your overall compensation needs and deciding whether to change your business structure to distribute income to the business owner. And we know how well income works for the business owner. They just write themselves a check, regardless of what entity structure they are. They call it a draw. They can call it guaranteed payments of partners, distribution, dividends. I don't know about your clients, but my clients don't know the difference between any of those. I'll have them on a sole prop saying, well, I took a dividend. And I say, fantastic. Um, what does that mean? And so we do a lot of education and training through that process, but we really kind of streamline that. And we look at doing a reasonable compensation analysis. Well, let me explain what reasonable comp is. A reasonable comp report is a document that outlines comparable compensation to other businesses and their business and the owner's compensation. The goal of reasonable compensation report is to provide a clear and transparent overview of why the compensation was adjusted in case of an audit. If you've ever been through an audit, I've been through several of them personally. It seems like I was at the poker table and we were fighting for, for poker chips because a lot of the questions that they were asking were very subjective. Like, what's reasonable compensation? And reasonable compensation is extremely subjective. And it's, okay, well, how much time do you spend in the business? What are your business activities? Are you engaged in the business? Are you active? Are you passive? What if it's a dentist that works two days a week in his own dental practice, and he has three other dental practices that he doesn't do any work in, but he manages those practices? Is that dental work? Is that business management? What do we call that? And so that becomes extremely gray area for the IRS to cherry pick during an audit of what the distribution between W-2 wages should be and what distribution should be. And so by doing a formal reasonable compensation analysis for your client really puts them again in a defensible place with the IRS allows you to substantiate, make it very legitimate as to why you've chosen that this dentist should make 85,000 a year or 110,000 a year and take another 200 in distribution or vice versa 